State lawmakers gave IU and Purdue the green light to spend millions of tax dollars on new facilities in Indianapolis. CBS 4's Hannah Adamson explains how both universities plan to use those facilities and how long it could take to build them. Coming soon to this big open field behind me right in the heart of downtown Indianapolis, a $110 million athletics facility. IU requested those project dollars from the state budget committee Thursday for a project they say will not only host college sporting events, but high school ones as well. It's a huge day for our campus. Luke never, Basso is the um, athletics director for IU Indianapolis. He says a new 130,000 square foot athletics facility will house a 4,000 seat arena for basketball and volleyball games. We're following the same blueprint that we've used uh, for so long at the natatorium where we've been able to host uh, U.S. Olympic trials and host you know, NCAA championships and, and things of that nature. Basso says USA Track and Field will also move their headquarters into the new facility. So in a line of uh, athletic venues in downtown Indianapolis on our campus from Carroll Stadium to the natatorium to now our new building, it's just another uh, it's another notch and, and continue to make Indianapolis the sports capital of the world. IU officials say the late Jim Morris advocated for the facility to be built for years before his death. During Thursday's meeting, some state budget committee lawmakers suggested the new facility be named after the legendary business leader. It's tough to talk about without getting emotional. There were a lot of people uh, that got this arena done, but it was Jim's vision um, that started it. And uh, to be able to carry that on as a kid from Indianapolis, um, we're, we're going to do it the right way. And that's not the only major university project coming to downtown Indianapolis. Achieving approval by the state today was a critical milestone for us. Jay Wasson is the VP of Physical Facilities for Purdue University. He says students in STEM, engineering, and computer science will soon benefit from a nearly $200 million academic success center. The need for a purpose-built uh, Purdue facility in Indianapolis is strong. Wasson says the 250,000 square foot mixed use center will provide housing for 500 students. He also says Purdue is looking into hosting K through 12 summer programs at the center's classrooms, labs, and workshops. We expect to break ground uh, in April of 2025, and the facility will open for use for our incoming fall of 2027 class. As for IU's upcoming athletics facility, I'm told construction is expected to wrap up by fall of 2026. Reporting in downtown Indianapolis, I'm Hannah Adamson.